burr. Chainsaw bar burrs. So, what a bar burr is, let's see if I can get that on there. Right on here is a burr that catches. That's caused by your bar chain running in its groove like it's supposed to. Um, sometimes what happens to if you've got your chain too tight, creates wonky pressures everywhere. So how we fix this, because if that burr is on there, your chain generally doesn't ride very well, is a bar file. This is a nice improvement. <laughs> or just taking your flat file and fly it, filing it down. You can get your whole bar in one swipe. So to use this, always start at the tip. You don't want any filings in to fall into your tip. Because then it gets in your sprocket, seize up, cause all sorts of problems. So, just set it on there flush and pull. I like to pull towards myself. You can go away from yourself. You just have to set the file up for it. Generally, a couple swipes. This bar weren't bad. This side's done. Check the other side. This one just needs one swipe. While well, still set up. Oh, now I've set my, by flipping it over, I've set it up for pushing. So I'm actually going to flip my bar. I'm not going to put it anywhere near the tip. Next one's got some down here. This is a single bastard file, meaning the grooves only go one way. It only cuts one way. It won't cut on the push if I push it like this unless I flip it. Which I probably will here in a minute just so I can keep using my dominant hand. Maybe I won't have to. Oh, yep, got a little bit there. Let's see, it binds up, now it runs free. Nice and clean, ready to rock and roll. Some people like to go down the top to flatten it out. This bar doesn't need that. It's nice and flat. Ready to rock and roll. Bar file, get one. <laughs>